know yourself. You can know yourself in a real sense using this body form. Following the instructions of the master, who the master is you, again, in a different form, but the listener and speaker are one and the same. And Maharaj says that constantly, listener and speaker are one and the same. You're speaking to your selfless self. And as far as there's two separate bodies, it's because one is believing they're a person, master knows he's not. And you're reflecting that, that presence, that selfless self, that formless. Master tells you you're formless. Master tells you you're Brahman. Master tells you, if at all you want to compare, compare yourself to sky or space. Hold on, what is this? I guess, I guess I have been reading more of Ramana lately and the I am. It's okay. I mean, again, read as you wish and know that you'll get nothing from it. And reading is fine. You know, that's, that's, it's like spiritual. Everything we're doing is just entertainment. You know, just waiting in, until the expiration of this form. It's all just entertainment. And, and reading the books and all that, knowing that, okay, I can read Ramana Maharshi, but Ramana Maharshi is just that selfless self that I am. He's no special guy. He's no special guru guy or, or whatever. Other uh, people can say, oh, my God, Ramana Maharshi, it's so... And that's good. That's my story. So as long as I don't put him up on a pedestal and separate myself from that by saying he's great or, or any of these kind of things, I just know that that same selfless self that's in Maharaj is also in Ramana Maharshi is also here. That's it. You are Ramana Maharshi. You are Nizagadatta Maharaj. You are Sri Siddharameshwar Maharaj. All the saints are appearing in you. Let's see, hold on. No, I practice very much and read less. Okay, it's good. It, you know, it, mantra, through mantra, everything will happen spontaneously. There won't be anyone to practice. There won't be any, like Maharaj says, you know, in the videos when somebody says, oh, Maharaj, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm meditating now two hours a day or whatever. Well, why one, two hours? Continue. Allow life to appear inside the meditation. Well, many teachers, as long as you believe yourself to be a separate person, there will appear to be separate teachers. But once the selfless self is completely known, once you know yourself in a real sense as formlessness, then there's no separation between you and the master. How can there be? You're formless. All the forms that are appearing only appear to be separating. Teachers only appear wise and different because you yet haven't understood that that's your own self. Once, once the mantra is continuing, you just know. You just know. There's no one to, to, to worship, no teachers to listen to, no. I mean, like Maharaj says, respect. Okay, respect. It's good. For my own self, there's, a, there's no, nothing impression. There's no like, oh, oh, Ramana Mahashi. No, because it's known that Ramana Mahashi is... It, there can't be any difference. There just can't. It's all coming from the same source. It's just a source named Ramana Maharshi, a source named Osho, a source named Ramakant Maharaj, a source named Nizargadatta Maharaj. Basically just a big symphony, and all of these are different instruments with different labels. But as soon as you start to say one is better or one is good or, or this is a master or anything like that, like, that's why Maharaj says all the time, this is not master. This is the lump of goo that was fed and watered and grew and grew and grew and grew. And, grew, and that's it. Just like your lump of goo that you're sitting with, this lump of goo and all these lumps of goo that have eyes that the selfless self is seeing through those eyes that are empty lumps of goo. Hold on. Wait a minute. 